there is a difference in the way returns happen between a bond fund and a bond, and I'm gonna we're gonna illustrate that in this module. We have had five bond funds that we've been talking about, and those are all Vanguard funds, but uh, the point is that you could buy these mutual funds, and on a daily basis, they're going to mark, you're, you can buy that back, they're gonna calculate a net asset value for the shares that you have in it each day, and each day, you are going to see on your financial statements, if you chose to look at it, the capital gains and losses associated with, with these funds. All right, that has an implication for holding a bond fund versus a bond in and of itself. And let's take that intermediate term investment, treasury investment fund, see it listed on the, 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 the screen here. And you could either hold that bond fund, and right now, in this case, that's getting a 2.41 yield to maturity, or that would be what the yield to maturity would be today. Or you could own a five-year treasury note. You could buy one or the other. And aside from the fact that there would be differences in uh, uh, divisibility here, you, the bond fund would be easier to buy, etc. And you could also sell some of it back, etc. But let's say you're just looking at the choice between bond fund or treasury note, both roughly with the same same yield to maturity, which won't necessarily be the case, but let's say that it is. All right, if you buy the bond fund, you will have capital gains and losses. Those will be every, every day you'll be able to say them. And you really don't have a control over that. You will have those capital gains and losses. On the other hand, if you buy that five-year treasury note and you hold it to maturity, you will get a 2.41% return if you hold it all the way to maturity. Um, you have total control of that, of that fund and getting that return. You could sell it earlier and take a capital gain or loss at that point. That would be your option, but if you hold it to the end, you will get a 2.41% return. All right, so first one, bond fund, you don't have the option. You, you can get, you, you will have risk, in this case, duration risk or, 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 or yield interest rate sensitivity. And the second, you can control it and you will get a 2.41% return if you hold it to the end. And just to illustrate the return differences, here's the return history from that treasury note fund. And note that in 2019, there was a 6.29% return. 2018, 1%. 2013, there was a minus 3.09. So if you think about treasury notes as not having default risk, the reason why that happened was there was in 2013 rate increases that caused that to be negative and you can see there that in some years there are actually pretty high returns in other terms years there are not it does illustrate though that if you buy a bond fund you will have capital gains or losses in the treasury case because of interest rate sensitivity or, or, or yield changes if you own a corporate it will be because of default risk and changes in expectations of default you will say have capital gains and capital losses.